Entering admin cami. Oh, it's Southern Edge. Very nice. All right, boys. Don't look as good. <laughs> Get the audio going, turn down this. All right, man chat is off. We only have area chat going. And we're gonna turn brightness 200% because it's Fortnite. We're gonna highlight all targets. So you guys can see them. Dude, Fortnite is absolutely B-E-A beautiful. Look at this. All right, guys, we got Southern Edge here. All right, so typically the way I do it in the pub match, I would definitely have a garrison here if I'm the German team, a garrison here, maybe a garrison here on this flank here. Uh, I, as soon as we're flipping the point, I want to be make sure I got a garrison going up here ASAP and probably a garrison behind here and then maybe a uh, garrison out this way. This could be really hard to maintain this garrison. Yeah, you could either do this garrison here or this garrison here. Um, looks like the Lukes will be taking the west flank um, and it looks like Jack and Coletto will be going down straight down main road. We got, in the recon tank, we got Mr. President, and we have uh, Mr. Dew in the Lukes. All right, now let's go over to the Allied side. Looks like we have Cornell, Cornell, sorry, wow, Cornell in the medium tank and crew. Who else do we got around here? Supply truck on the flank. Nodes going up right off the rip. I didn't see the recon tank. I may have missed it. And we have... Was that Cherokee? Chernoki? And crew in the Stewarts. The thing I'm going to focus on to begin here, guys, I will be just following that first tank battle. I want to see... The opening tank battle, so I'm going to follow Mr. Dew here. And we're going to follow Kalito as well. Now, I watched the TL guys in the pub match earlier that I was casting on my server. I watched them go right through the city. Oftentimes, you kind of see tanks going out towards... Um, going out towards the flanks of the map. So typically the Panzer, I take my Panzer IVs around here because we've got a lot of good tree cover. Typically you can see the medium Sherman if it pulls up right here, here, or here. Um, but today I saw the TL guys come down right down main road. It's pretty good. You just don't, I don't know. I, I just don't do it that often. But they were able to see and then snipe the medium tank when it crested the hill. I think it was about right here. So we'll see how these guys do. Okay, we got Sun Tzu and the main transport truck getting their boys up here. And just like that, they got one of those garrisons up. Beautiful. Looks like a team is going to try to get a garrison up here, just like we talked about. That's pretty standard for this map. Boy, there's not a whole lot of places you can build garrisons. There's only a handful of spots. You better get done. The Americans need to have this garrison up. Whoever wins this tank fight is going to be gunning for that garrison. They're going to be dogpiling that garrison, trying to take it out as soon as possible. All right. Look at the pathing on Kalito, man. Not a, not getting stuck once on any of the trees. Currently, we're on this location of the map. They're trying to get line of sight on that position there. I can see the medium tank for here. They're positioning themselves behind this building. They pulled out a bit far. They're panning off to the right side. Medium Sherman, yep, classic spot for the Medium Sherman like we talked about before. They're hidden in these trees. They're expecting them to come from where I said before, to be coming from the east. That's what I'm saying. This is like a little different. Most tank crews would take it through the east right here, but TL, I saw him do this day in the comp match. They take up main road, and they get positioned behind all this debris and cover. Like, you got hard cover here on your left side. So, if the Medium Sherman happens to spot them, happens to get the first shot on them, they're able to back up. They got pretty solid cover to use. Now, if they do back up, Medium Sherman might be able to get shots through here on the turret. So far, looks like neither tank crew has spotted the other. If you zoom in here, you can just barely make out that that 
mound of dirt or piles of boxes, whatever it is, is just blocking the medium Sherman sights. Now, the medium Sherman is rolling forward. The enemy Luke's is, sorry, the Axis Luke's is peppering this medium Sherman. I don't think the Luke sees the medium Sherman. The medium Sherman must see the Luke's. The light tank's best bet is to zoom out of here, use its speed, get around that medium Sherman, and try to get away. And he is down. He did not make it. Uh, also, the... This garrison's in the open. Guys, heads up. Heads up, boys. You could build the garrison right here. And better cover than that. That's gonna get sniped. Maybe they're, like, trying to do something unconventional. Like, oh, we're gonna put it in a spot where it normally wouldn't be, but still in the area. Uh, I would have put that garrison right here in this hole. Looks like, it's no surprise, TL capped the midpoint southern edge. They've gotten a nice line of backup carries going. They got one flanking garrison on the cattle sheds here. This medium tank is playing very conservative, but he's in a weird spot. He's going to keep splattering on those trees. He needs to get in a slightly better position so he can actually pivot his fire, fire on multiple targets of one. We got an AT gun lined up on the medium tank i don't think the medium tank sees it i don't know if it's fired yet i don't know what's going on here yeah right there at gun i do not believe it's active yet looks like the at gun is unoccupied but it's in a perfect spot to light up that medium tank let's go back over here to mr kalito and crew they're playing fairly conservative. They want to be alive as long as possible. I'm not seeing any marks from Commander on that medium tank. It's not been marked yet by Command. Someone should start manning this AT gun. Uh, looks like Cornell is actually offering ass shots currently to the Panzer IV, but the Panzer IV probably doesn't know it's there. Uh, looks like they're having some miscommunication here with the positioning of the tank. But uh, TL should be getting that... Uh, AT gun up and running. Like I said before, they're trying to... They need to get in a better spot. So they can pan left and right. Right now, they got a lot of this tree cover. You cannot shoot through the solid trees and hell it loose, unfortunately. I wish you could, but you can't. You think an AP shell can go through, you know, a twig if it could go through tank armor. All right, boys. We're going to get a more of a bird's eye view here for a moment. I really want to catch that initial tank battle. Oh, wow. PC4 goes down. I don't know. Oh, we got a tank in the field here. Oh! LWJG gets the first heavy in the field. Must have taken out Kalito and crew. Yeah, they they got some points on their board right now. So the first medium for first tank kill significant tank kill kind of goes to lw already um we got a heavy tank heavy tiger i believe in the field moving forward all right look at this spread look at this map control yep they finally got the garrison in the strong point they also got that garrison i talked about earlier that is up ready to go All right, right now, LW has a medium tank and a heavy tank in the field. Oh, no, the medium tank backed up into some bad terrain, got caught up, and I believe this AT gun did take it out. I believe, I'm not sure. Cosmo, thank you for the fall, buddy. All right, 76 is getting positioned behind that beautiful, beautiful house. This house is so good. It's located right here on the map on this trench here. It's just such an awesome house for the Americans to use. This is this is why I like... Oh, shit, we got tank duel going on. That's enough of what I was going to say. I believe it's the Tiger. Oh, he's not close enough to the repair station. I do believe it is the Tiger from way back here. Engaging the 76. I think the 76 is going to risk it to pull up to the repair station. Oh, no. He's going to line up and try to get angled. 
What's he going to do? He's going to tuck in here. Yeah, he's going to tuck in here. I think currently, so you can see the tiger way out there, way out there, guys. I think currently um, that hay bale is unrendered for the tiger tank. Right now, the tiger tank's best bet is probably to splash HE left side, right side of the hay bale. Try to get lucky. Try to take out the crewman repairing. That's their best bet for winning this tank battle right now. Now, remember, when you're in a tank battle, guys, there's a cadence to the shots. So if you time it well, as soon, if you're in position behind cover and your opponent fires a shot and you're so ready to pull forward and let the shot perfectly pop it, you can gain the advantage. Right now, these guys are pinned down. They're going to back up and try to get LOS over the hay bale to try to snipe a shot at the tiger or at least locate where he is. Because you got to remember, the spotter sits significantly higher above the gunner. Although the gunner probably doesn't have LOS, the spotter can at least get eyes on the target, mark him up, and then form a battle plan with his crew to engage his tank. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this crew is doing, if they actually believe they can nail the shot or not. Or if they're just trying to keep pressure up on the 76, keep them from peeking. 76 does have a repair station on hand if they think they could make it across this, this opening here in time. They're still panning across. Looks like the Tiger deflects a shot off the 76. There's an AT gun and a Tiger firing on the 76. Uh, looks like the 76 misses a shot. Tiger lands the shot. They also have a garrison in the open. The Tiger might be able to snipe it. 76 accidentally pulls forward, splashes a shot in front of the Tiger. Oh my god, they just barely dodged a shot by the AT gun. They probably backed up too far. The AT gun probably has line of sight now. They're pinned down hard. Crew is still in the tank. They're probably too afraid to hop out. Tiger could probably splash. Looks like the AT gun will not have clearance to fire on the rear side of the 76. Now, I don't know if the Tiger sees it or not, but there's a garrison right where you shoot. No, he cannot see it because LOS is not allowing him to see this garrison, guys. There's a slight depression behind this hill, that little small hill preventing from seeing the garrison, but they might get lucky. Who knows? Once again, guys, I'm real excited for these tank fights. All right, let's see. TL is getting another heavy tank in the field. We're going to go visit this Tiger Crew's perspective. But yeah, guys, it is all about maintaining control of the open fields and locking down lanes. All right, looks like a friendly Tiger tank is rolling up to this Tiger tank. I'm real worried that this garrison is going to get sniped by that 76 by accident. 76 is over yonder there. You can see the little red red outline of it. All right, I'm going to go see if LW has... Let me check it again. Yes, that hay bale is, in fact, not rendering in. Like we just said about five minutes ago, uh, the TL crew probably can't see the outline of the hay bale because it's not rendered in. The devs need to do a better job of making sure that th those things render in at range. Um, it's going to make tank fights a lot more enjoyable and consistent and a lot of fun. Looks like Chernaki is getting nailed by the AT gun. Uh, AT gun, unfortunately, only landing turret shots on the Stuarts. The AT gun does have the power to one-shot the Stuart, but it does need to nail it in the hull if they want to one-shot. All right, looks like tank crew is nice and angled again. They're ready to go. They're all repaired. TC has hopped out to better spot these tanks now. It's going to be a 2v1 battle. Uh, looks like they're re-angling. They see the other Tiger flanking. They're going to try to catch that Tiger unawares, guys. You see, you can just barely see it in the background there. I know I'm really zoomed in, but you're going to need it to see these tanks way off in the distance. 
They're hoping to get an angle here. They might have an angle. Uh, they're kind of positioning. So if the tiger does turn on them, does start to return fire, it, they're hoping it'll just deflect unless they hit turret shots. In which point, it'll most likely pan. Oh, the 76 is pulling out a bit far. Uh, Left-hand tiger is beginning the, the salvo of shells. Uh, 76 still trying to get a beat on the tiger. Tiger's very well hidden. Tiger's accidentally hitting the post. Uh, let's see where this other tiger's going. Uh, this other tiger's going down to cattle sheds. The assault eastern. It's not going to be a 2v1 fight. I was kind of hoping it would be. Right now, guys, it looks like TL has awesome map control over their point. They're going to be putting a lot of pressure here in a moment on Eastern. Their best bet is for this 76 to win this fight and then open up a lane here, guys. This 76 needs to win this fight against this Tiger to open up this flank for the allies. Because currently, they're about to get split in two. TL is splitting... The ally team in two is cutting off this section over here from Eastern. They got to make a play quickly. They are running out of time. TL is growing stronger and stronger in their position on the map as this goes on. All right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to see if there's any other ally tanks in the field. Uh, okay, we got Tiger tank set up here. What is he looking at? We got a pocket engineer. Oh my god, he's getting an angle on the 76. Oh, 76 is struck once. Oh, they were just low. It is going to be a 2v1 fight. I think that's Jack and crew. Toledo and Jack can get an angle. They're just going to thread the needle. Black Bible, I think his name is, is gunned down as he goes to repair. They're in a bad spot now, guys. This tank is pinned down. Sorry, I had to tap out for a moment. We got an hour and 11 minutes, hour and 12 minutes left in the game. TL holds midpoint. They're putting, they're splitting the, the ally team into, and they're starting to put pressure on Eastern. Uh, we got another medium tank, Panzer IV in the field. It's Mr. Do and crew. Kalito is still trying to put pressure on this tank. This, this, this American tank crew is pinned down. Do the Americans have any other he heavy tank crews? They do. Americans are starting to field more tanks to help support their boys who are pinned down. That tank crew is in some trouble. They're pinned down by an AT gun and two Tigers. That is a rough spot to be in. But they're holding their own. They're staying calm, it seems. Now, keep in mind, guys, they've traded a lot of shots. A tank crew is going to have to back off here eventually to go refit. I'm not sure. They're pulling out to take a shot. They know where the Tiger tank is. They're going to try their luck. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. That was right in our face. I'm not sure if the 76 knows where he is. He doesn't. He's going for the AT gun. Ah, but he's going to take his time. He knows his turret is angled at a proper angle. He knows his hull is angled just as it needs to be. He's going to take the time to eliminate, eliminate a threat on the board, which was an AT gun. Oh, all right. Fair play. Almighty Fallen, thanks for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in. You know what these boys need right here? They need a repair station right here. Oh, they land a shot. Tiger lands a shot. They're backing up. What is the name of this TC? Black something, right?
Blackbird, sorry. TC's Blackbird. I'm surprised that Stuart hasn't been sniped by the tiger yet. Oh, wow. Speak of the devil. AT gun from Sun Tzu trying to snipe through these trees. That's what's so annoying about these trees. You cannot snipe through them. Hit the smallest bush. You cannot snipe through. All right. We got some movement here. All right. All right let's go check out this tank, tank fight here. We got one P4 hit in the field. Looks like we have a 76 versus a tiger on this side. We got Kalito and my boy Jack pinned down by 76. P4 has been hit once and it looks like in the turret. That's Mr. Do and crew. Huh. Also, happy birthday to Leroy. I didn't get to say it uh, when I was in the squad with him. He kicked me immediately. 76, is, 76 seems to be taking the opportunity to pump some shells into this infantry outpost here. Tiger Tank. Tiger Tank has a beat on the 76. He's just on fire. He's trying to line up a shot, but he's got smoke in his way. This Tiger Tank is moving to support his two friendly tanks. I'm not sure if that shell landed. I don't think they have the proper angle. 76 is spooked. He's backing up. TL tanks are pushing forward. Polito and Jack land a shot on the turret. I don't know if that was barrel or not. Oh, they might have him here. Nail him again. They trade shots at turret. I think Kalito and crew didn't land the, the turret shot. They're both one shot. What's it going to come down to? I think uh, I think the 76 just pulled behind hard cover. Yep, 76 is behind the building. Hard cover. They're hopping out to pick through it. Oh, they're getting hit by something else here. Uh, medium take possibly sh sniping through the trees there off the turret. What in the hell is hitting them? They don't know. I don't know. That's boy for you right there. You're just getting shot. You don't know where the hell it's coming from. Oh, it's coming from way over here. Oh, is it? Oh, fuck me sideways. It's a 76 from way over here. Getting in the fight. Oh, this tiger takes in some trouble here. How does he see him? How does he know he's there? What the hell? Holy shit. Holy shit. How did you see him? Oh, he's over there. Oh, God. He's in a bad spot right now. He's in a bad spot. This P4 is trying to provide infantry support, but he doesn't realize the 76 almost has a beat on him. Two 76s. Oh, goodness. The 76 is pulling forward. He's about to get ass shots on the, or front shots on the tiger tank. Uh, Dylan and Mage better get right the fuck back here because they're going to have to get to work. This is getting wild, guys. Yeah, they're backing up. They're trying to deny, deny LOS to the 76. Uh, yep, they just, they swiveled. Uh, what are they doing? What are they doing here? What is going on? Tiger tank is getting out of here. They're getting flanked. Oh! Another tank crew sniping from way over here. Medium tank sniping. Shots are just flying all around, guys. Shots are just flying all around right now. Tiger tank repositioning. Let's see how this tank crew is doing over yonder here. All right, the 76 is still alive and well. We got a little bit of a reset here. I'm hearing a lot of deflecting shots right now. There's a lot going on. This Tiger tank has been struck by the 76. One of the 76s. They're just stacking 76s right there. 76 is right there. I think that's the one engaging it. Oh! They just barely missed! Oh, they're stuck on a tree. They're pinned against a wall. They gotta make a play. Guys, thank you for all the follows. Uh, sounds like 76 may have landed a hull shot right there. Was it hull or track there? Pinned against the wall. This is getting crazy. They're trying to throw smoke in their face by, uh, creating dust piles. Uh, precision strike coming in on one of these tanks. Comes in on the P4. Interesting choice of target. Considering the tiger tank being wounded over here and whatnot. 
Tiger Tanks is going to barely get into cover here. They're going to... Oh, they're not fully in cover. The 76 is going to be able to snipe the ass. Oh, they just whipped it. Holy fuck. Guys, thank you for all the follows. Welcome on in, guys. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> I need to get... I need, I need more beer. Oh, I don't know that the 76 right, realizes he's barely got a line of sight on his ass. I can see the turret of the 76 currently. Sorry, guys. I gotta be zoomed in for you guys. Oh, or else you guys won't see it. What a fucking engagement, man. Holy shit. It's calming down a little bit now. People in cover. Some of these tanks are going to have to go RTB. Oh, we got a Tiger tank going balls deep. Oh, it's Kalito and crew trying to get a better position. They're charging right into the point. Trying to break the stalemate on this point. Uh, timed perfectly well with the bombing run by Jay Bork. I don't know how to say his name as a commander. Uh, I'm not seeing too many targets going down right now. We're holding our own. All right, we're getting a third heavy tank in the field, Tiger. <clears throat> Big spawn waves. Do we have a garrison or outpost right here? Or they were, oh yeah, we do have an outpost, no garrison. Currently looks like TL is trying to get a frontal attacking garrison. They're getting a lot of pressure on their point. As exciting as these tank battles are, uh, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to just maintaining map control, maintaining superior cap weight. Looks like the 76 has been struck once by the TL tank crew. Damn, these trees are hard to snipe through, man. They're backing up to a repair station. Oh, shit! 76 in the background gets sniped by the Tiger tank crew. They might get hit one more time. Will they be able to land the shot? They land the shot! First 76 goes down to the game. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they were ready. Not only did they make this tank pull back. Holy shit. Wow, what a fight. All right, we got Polito and Tank Crew here going balls deep. They're probably just down to their HE at this point. I think they were the first Tiger Tank in the... in the. No, they weren't. Sorry, that's wrong. No, no, it was Wix. Uh, they're starting to cap the point. TL is capping the point. Tiger Tank's balls deep. I feel like that 76 is too afraid to pull forward. Oh, they are pulling forward, but they, they might get sniped by both tanks. They're trying to help their team push back against the Tiger Tank on the strong point. Tiger tanks right there. Uh, looks like the repair station has been destroyed. That tiger tank should have shots right now. Looks like this tank crew is not going to let Kalito and crew just stomp on their point. Uh, interesting they're not firing any coax. Maybe they're afraid the tiger's going to see them. Because uh, with the coax, when you fire your coax, you give off tracer rounds. Tracer rounds tell the other tanks where you're at. Wow, this is getting crazy. This is getting wild. All right, how's this 76 doing over here? This 76 is holding it down, but they got to be nearly out of ammo, man. Blackbird and crew really should be out of ammo here pretty soon. And just like that, TL storms Eastern with the help of Kalito and Jack and Grecker. Tiger tank galore. As we all know, the Panthers banned the comp even after the nerf. Which I think is great. I love using... Oh, here we go. 76 may not see this Tiger. I don't know if... Tiger ricochets off the 76. They got bad angle. I don't know if they're able to get the side armor here. Yeah, hit it right here. Nice and easy, baby. That's where you gotta hit him. 
That or he... Oh, they're hitting trees now. I can hear them. 76, I don't even know what they're trying to look at here. They're not too concerned about the Tiger tank bearing down on them right now. Not to hit once the turret. They're about to be real concerned real quick. They do not have a repair station anymore. They might be able to back up, but they got no repair station. They're stuck on a tree. They pinned against a wall. And there you go, down. TL starting to assert their dominance on the battlefield with their armor. What's this uh, tank doing? Is this 76 falling back? Yeah, 76 is RTB. They must get, uh, they, need, they probably need to get ammo. All right, what do we got here coming out of their HQs? That was two heavies at once going down. Not at once, but in pretty close succession here. The 76, if they did spawn another one, would be on cooldown. Well, I guess they did just spawn this one. So it should be off cooldown pretty soon. Right now, it looks like LWJG46 is going to make a desperate dash to get as much map controlled as they can in uh, eastern outskirts, southern portion here. Well, that's going to be an interesting match. Currently, TL has, has no spawns in the forest here. That's a pretty important area to take control of if they want to maintain uh, presence on Eastern. Because if you don't take control of the forest here, you're kind of, as far as cap weight goes, you're kind of stuck being on the strong point because everywhere else is just open. Everywhere else is just completely open. So that leaves you vulnerable to artillery and HE shells. All right, we got to get back to these tank fights. I, I hear them popping off. So currently, I don't think the American side, Allied side, ha whoa, has any heavy tanks active, but maybe just AT guns. I do see a medium tank coming out of mid. Medium tank here to support infantry. They got to be real careful of these tigers on their northeast flank here. Both these tigers possibly could snipe through the trees. All three of them, maybe. I don't know. You do not want to allow TL to have three heavy tanks up. The TL was very conservative. They essentially, they, they, they effectively exhausted the enemy team uh, into a position where... You know, they were very conservative of the tanks. They kept them very well hidden. They were going for long snipes. And they waited until the enemy team was ground down. They sent in Kalito with his crew to kind of punch in the front door. The other two tanks were pinned down. And slowly and slowly, the 76s were put in a position where it's like, we got to pull out of our cover. We got to provide, you know, fire support for our infantry. And in doing so, they were forced to kind of expose themselves to the fire from the Tigers. And... Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so I think currently, if I'm LWJ G46, I'm just going to say LW. If I'm LW, I want to make my way down that tree line. I want to make my way down that tree line just so I... Okay, never mind. Can't do that anymore. Uh, <laughs> looks like Mr. Duo has arrived. There's not a chance in hell. Uh, this... These infantry squads are going to make it down this, this tree line now. We got three Tiger tanks pinning down this whole push. I wonder what we got going on here. We got a 76 in the field now. This is a beautiful spot for the Americans. Tiger tanks backing up. 76 is moving at the same time. He's not going to be ready to pop the shot. He does have smoke cover. His two Tiger tanks about to get a field of view on that 76. I don't know if they got the mark or not. Oh, shit. 76 lands a shot on one of the Tigers. I'm not sure where they hit him. They hit him in the tracks. They hit him in the tracks again. 76 might go down here. Oh, they went the shot. My goodness. Tiger take goes down. Mr. Dew goes down. Oh, goodness. Oh, if they hadn't missed that shot, they wouldn't find. 
Budget, thank you for fall, but I walk on in. Seventy six is gonna repair. Tire tanks probably unsure what's going on. Allies got a AT gun up. This is wild. All right, let's pan around. Let's see what the infantry are doing. All right, infantry have, like I said before, they need to get this garrison up, and they got this garrison up. That's key to maintaining uh, your hold of this point. Thank you for the fall, Bibo. Yep, pretty much these two garrisons, garrison here, and they will eventually need to get a garrison probably just behind this house here. All right, we got a lull in the battle now. That was a lot of action right there. I'm loving the ebbs and flows of this comp play here. It's periods of high intensity action and periods of resetting, settling down, getting good positions here. Oh shit! Tiger tank gets sniped by the 76. All right, just when I thought it was gonna calm down, they're gonna back it up. Are they gonna make it in time? All right, they barely make it in time. They got their pocket engineer putting in work. They're pulling forward. They're going to risk it for the biscuit. They're trying to catch the 76 in between shots here. Now that's the AT gun and the 76 over there, guys. Not just the 76. AT gun will do some damage, guys. Isaac, thank you for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in. The Tiger Tank lands the first shot on the 76. They kind of backpedal a little bit. Oh, did they land it on it? No, they didn't pen. Oh, they got the AT gun. They're confused. Oh, the Tiger Tank goes down. TL's dominance on the field with armor has just been challenged. And actually, almost completely, their, their tank crews have been almost completely wiped out. They got one more tank back up here. Mr. Dew is back with the Tiger tank. They still have Wicks on the front line. If the allies continue to take down, or maybe even one more Tiger tank, they're going to have armor superiority, and they might be able to make a breakthrough here. That is an allied bombing run coming in. Where are we at here, guys? Where are we at? I think it's going to be going down here. Yes, and yes, it is. It misses the garrison probably by just a handful of meters here. Where's this garrison? Oh my god. I That was like right here. I think it landed right straight across this way. They got very, very lucky, guys. Very, very lucky. This 76 is just want to say it's a beautiful spot. Now they got three repair stations and an AT going. I don't, I don't know what these tankers are going to be able to do right now. They're going to have to be very in sync when they peek. Wix and... Was that Jack over there? Or Mr. Dew, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mr. Dew. We got another 76 in the field here. It's Blackbird and crew. And we got Cornell and crew here. I believe I hear another heavy to medium tank over here. Now, medium tank, main road, holding down this push. Guys, what's the over-under of it going a distance? Absolutely wild. Oh, 76 gets nailed. 
But he's got three repair stations. Ah, uh, he gets hit in the barrel, too. This might end up being in a stalemate here. I don't know how the Tigers, this large, all these AT guns, all of these 76s, with the position they're holding. Uh, at some point, this Tiger is going to have to go back for ammo. Kind of. Oh, they're repaired. They're looking for that Tiger. Oh, AT gone up, too. Oh, my goodness. Live Hippie, thanks for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in. Cheers, guys. See how these tank crews are doing. I don't know what kind of marks they got. These guys are playing really conservative, which they need to do. Tiger tank is taking it to the front. Tiger tank's down. The allies might be making a breakthrough here in a moment. They might be making a breakthrough here soon. Blanking, thank you for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in. They're stacking heavies right now. Currently, they only... The closest heavy... Cleared the Axis team is in POW 6. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, but it's getting sniped at by the 76 already. Dude, this tank crew, this this allied tank crew is saving the game for the for TL here. They're getting hit by no, no less than two or three tanks right now. Holy shit, just missed them by a hair. My goodness. Looks like another Tiger Tank's starting to get in the fight now. We got Taco Tastic in a recon tank. We got Mr. President in a two-man medium tank now. I don't know. Ah, TL doesn't have the fuel for another heavy. They're going to have to be very conservative here. This tank battle is going back and forth. You know, first is a bit neutral when they're just dueling with the two first two heavies. Uh, then TL... Once they're able to get fire superiority, get the different angles, uh, they were able to gain armor superiority on the map. Uh, but now this tank crew has been able to, to, I think, take out three tigers in a row. And they're in a fantastic. This is one of my favorite spots to tank in the game. Mr. Glow, thank you for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in, my man. Alright, so we know two allied 76s, one here, one here. We do have one medium that was on the road that's probably dead now. And I could definitely see, I could definitely see a thunder run happening from Mr. President and Kalito and crew. While this AT gun and this Tiger tank keep the 76s pinned down. Oh, AT guns getting ready to ambush the Tiger and the PZ-4. Uh, I kind of feel the Ameri sorry, the Axis Commander really needs a bong run this area. They gotta recognize that this tank is just camping here. It's pinning down this entire flank, and they need to eliminate these repair stations and maybe even possibly wound the 76, allowing the Tiger tanks to pull up into a more favorable position. But LW is a has their backs against a wall. That there's that 76 right there, guys. Currently, we have Tiger Tank posting up on the western flank here. PZ-4, two-man going up the middle. Tiger Tank snipes a Greyhound 
We got a raid. Tenacious D, thank you for the raid, buddy. Welcome on in, my man. 30 minute delay, man, but thank you for the raid. Welcome to the followers. Glad to have you guys. P4 rolling down the road. I see nothing but a dead 75 medium and some trucks down there. Currently still have... Oh, we're down a Tiger Tank over on the flank here. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Now we got a... Is this a third 76? This is a third 76. Guys. They're about to stack this side and make a breakout push. It looks like Kalito is adjusting to the fact that they just lost a Tiger Tank over here. He's going to have to try to get a flank here. You really need a bomb run. Clear out these... Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if that would work. Bombing run, precision strike combo. This tank can't back up. This tank can't back up. Someone get a spotter over here. Someone recon spotter. This tank can't back up. He's gonna get stuck on this. Look, look. It's happening real time. You can see they're they're pinned in. They can't maneuver. This is their opportunity. Drop a bomb run, precision strike. Same at the same time. You will get them. Have the precision strike come from that direction, straight in here. Right after the bombing run, they won't hear it coming. They're stuck here. Tiger Tank's putting in some damage. Now it's time to be decisive. They ought to have a peace strike up. I have not heard the Americans use the peace strike. Or sorry, the Germans. Oh, they're out of munitions. Oh, they got no munitions. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We got 43 minutes on the board, man. We got some time. Oh, 76 is... Oh, repair station goes down. 76 gets a hit in the turret. He's in a bad spot. He's still getting repped. He's still got one repair station up. This 76 trying to turn around. He needs ammo. Oh, they just accidentally hit the tree. No. Tail's trying to make a play here. Uh, Tiger Tank's returning fire. Sorry, 76 returning fire on the Tiger Tank. It is uh, Mr. Dew and crew... Oh, dude, I do not envy Mr. Do right now. They do have two repair stations now, though. Interesting. See, that's the thing. When you're on the attack, you're actually taking points. You don't have as many opportunities to get set up like this. But now it's been settled in. I, I don't know. It's been 25 minutes since they capped. 20 minutes. Straight run coming in. Mr. Dew is putting in work here. He's got a he's got a lot of work to do on these 76s. He's putting in work. They're hitting shots. They're keeping pressure on these two tanks, making sure they can't make a breakout right now. They try to make a breakout. Mr. Dew. And then Wix is following up to support them. They are very low in fuel. These tanks cannot die. Oh, we got another tiger tank pushing up. 76 feet tiger tank going on right now. Oh, he gets hit in the flank. I can't see him. Oh, I see the Tiger Tank now. Oh, shit. The trees got in the way. God damn it. Hell loose trees. What are you doing? Let the boys cook on both sides, please. Jesus Christ. Keep... Oh, they sniped the shot. 76 goes down. We're three heavies versus three heavies now. No, sorry. Three heavies versus two heavies. Excuse me. One heavy just gets struck in the barrel. No, is that turret or barrel? That's a turret shot. Oh, they just missed. Once again, they block their way out. They are stuck here, guys. They got no repair stations left. These guys are one tap. Oh, AT gun goes down. Precision strike incoming. 76 goes down. It's 3v1. You got a tiger on the flank, Panzer four flanking around, two tanks up the front, multiple AT guns. Actually, the AT guns have been destroyed. The 76 is like, I'm in a bad spot. I get the fuck out of here now. This is getting fucking wild.
Guys, I do. I, I don't apologize on focusing on the tanks. That is boy right there. It comes down to the tanks. I don't know. You know if, if you're looking for infantry gameplay, yeah, let's just watch them get blown up by Artie over and over again and mowed down by HE and MG. Yeah, I'm going to go over garrisons and I'm going to go over what armor is doing because that's what's going to win this game. Uh, Tiger Tank did not see the 76 right here in the intersection. I don't know what Cornell is doing now. Cornell is just bugging out. He's just trying to RTB, it looks like. He's got a P4. Oh, he's got a P4 on his flank. Oh, sweet baby. Jesus. This mad lad P4. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at him. He's behind everything. Mr. President and Mage, they got a reverse ass right. Oh, they go down. Oh, they could have made a huge play to break the stalemate. Uh, 76 is kind of locked in here by his own, his, his buddy's carcass. You, you hate to see it, man. Well done to both teams. This has been a crazy match. We got another 76 rolling into the field. What? And they're stuck on a tree, I think. They can't pull up. And they might get stuck here. Oh my god, I think they got the box stuck on the tree. They got the box stuck on the tree! What's in the box? What is going on? Why would you come over here? You just saw your boys get fucked up over here. What are you doing? Oh, Tiger gets hit! Even though the 76 is bouncing. Oh no! Tiger's in the open. Oh, two Tigers shooting the 76, but they're deflecting. Oh, 76 gets hit once. Tiger goes down. Was that worth it, Tiger crew? Oh, and they whiff it off the wall. These guys are stuck, but they're getting repped. What in the name of fury is going on here? Wow, this is just getting spicy. All right, we got a bomb run coming in from the Axis team. It does already come in. It seems to miss most of the targets here. It looks like a lot of allies are actually not on the cap zone. Oh, no, they are. I would say about 60% of the allies are in the cap zone here. Looks like the Tiger Tank is going to make a run for the strong point. Holy fuck. Holy McNuggets. Sweet baby Jesus. Who is going in there? The Mad Lads, Kalito. And Jack and Grecker charging into the last point. They know all the enemy armor has been destroyed. Looks like another 76 just spawned at main base, it looks like. Is that correct? Yep, 76 has spawned in. HE splashing all over the place. TL might flip this point. Second Tiger Tank charging in, Mr. Wicks and crew. They're looking to have it this decisive end to this match right now. If it does end here, both teams did a fantastic job. What an entertaining match. Absolutely insane. TL begins to cap. That means bottom HQ is locked out. Hopefully uh, the allies have backup spawns to come back. You can see a lot of allies. Like I said, about 40% of the allies... They're out to the west. They're not in the cap zone. Looks like TL is going to dominate the strong point with armor. Wicks and a supporting AT gun are looking to just pin down these crews over here. You got one allied AT gun on up. Tiger tank has been struck once, I believe, by an AT gun right here. 76 is trying to get in the, in the fight as soon as possible. Those trees are hard to drive through, though. TL might have this. Wait. Tank on the flank. Oh, it's down. Medium tank. There's a medium tank trying to flank the tiger. Wow. I, I did not realize w, uh, LW has such good tank crews. They, they did a fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic job. Uh, gave TL a run for their money. It just, I think, in the end... I know we were focusing a lot on the armor, but the armor did their job and infantry pulled through. Infantry made the gains. Um, looks like tank crew goes down to a 76 here. It's not over yet. There's still about, say, 40 seconds left in the cap. We got, we're getting big American spawn waves here. Looks like Mr. Dew has swapped over to AT. They are pretty much out of fuel. Well, we got enough for one more heavy. 
And we're about 20 seconds out from the end of this match. Guys, we'll be streaming again later this evening about, you know, you, you won't notice, but I'm going to start to stream again in about half an hour. 4.31, you'll see the stream go live again. This, that was an insane match. GG's to both teams. Absolutely crazy match. That was a lot of fun to cast. Guys, I'll be back next weekend. I don't know which match I'm casting. I'm just hoping you guys are enjoying it. Tenacious D, thank you for the fall. Crown or Crowanian, thank you for the fall. Guys, thank you for all the follows, guys. Thank you for um, all, you know, everything. Glad to have you guys. Um, I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, and yeah, I'm just... It was it was an awesome awesome time for me. I love watching those tank fights, insane tank fights fights. Shout out to the tankers, did an awesome job. Um, this one American tank crew, who was it? It was Cornell. Really came through in the end. Gave them a chance, man. Um, and yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna end it there. I will be streaming again in a half hour from my time, but it, it'll be seamless for you guys. I'll have it go live. And I guess at for me it to be 433. You guys, you're just gonna seamlessly transition. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna upload this up to my YouTube page. If you haven't already, join the YouTube page. Check out the Discord. Uh and just glad to have you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I had to focus almost exclusively on the tanks, but that's nature of 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 boy right there. Uh you know, it's all about the garrisons, all about the the tanks. Elsewise, you're just watching a bunch of infantry getting mowed down by MGs, HE, uh, from artillery or the tanks. Uh, that's genuinely the most interesting part of Boy, is the, this is the tanking. Uh, if anyone thinks otherwise, you have never played Boy in your life. And if you have, you're probably not playing it right. That's just how it is. Anyways, guys, I will catch you guys in just a moment. Uh, it'll be a, like a second for you. It'll be a half an hour for me, though. So, I'll catch you guys then.